It's a lonesome war. Today is Sunday. But like any other day, we search. Squad under strength, so we search alone. Eight men and 20 farms to search. Quiet, deserted farms. That's where the danger is. In the quiet. Quiet, hidden danger. <laughs> Sometimes you get a good one, an empty one. idea where we are? About 100 kilometers within German-occupied France, monsieur. You're a civilian. Why'd they pick you up? I don't know, monsieur. I have armed no one. What's this then? Hans? Gunther? What is this passiert? Antworte doch um Gottes Willen. from the young one. Jacket pocket, left side. Don't worry, gentlemen. We will take good care of you. Just a civilian, huh? Take care of the wounded man first, eh? Hurry. Do not be so unhappy in it. The bombers were American. I'm delighted. Cognac, if you please, madame. I need cash. 
gasoline. I don't have enough to reach Paris. Do you have ration coupons? Of course not. I cannot sell the gas without coupons. Especially tonight. Three German soldiers were found dead on the highway. Twice already the SS have been in here. Can you get me some coupons? Impossible. Excuse me, monsieur. Did I hear you say something about going to Paris? Mademoiselle? Annette Touze. You're André Malo, aren't you? Yes. Well, you used to work for my father, remember? Ah, yes, of course. Little Annette. <laughs> well, it has been a long time. I'm living in Paris now. Annette came back to visit her mother. Yes. <sighs> well, I was to return to Paris tonight, but now the trains are not running. Yes, I know. The bridge is out. The American bombers. But you are driving to Paris. I had hoped to, yes. I have a lot of vegetables for the market. Unfortunately, my truck needs gasoline, and I lack ration coupons. Oh, but maybe uh, I can help. Here. These coupons come from the Reichstag. How did you get them? Does it matter? You need them. You are most generous, mademoiselle. Not at all. I need a lift to Paris. It is a fair exchange. Well? Did you sleep? A little, I think. Where are we? Still a long way to go. Cigarette? Thank you. Ah, very good. Did you get these through the Reichstag as well? From a friend. Times are hard, monsieur. One does the best one can. Checkpoint. What's the matter? Checkpoint. Careful. What are you doing? Poison the... Be quiet, please. there. I asked you a question. Who's in the truck? Three men. An American and two Canadians. One is badly wounded. I am taking them to Paris where they will be provided with false papers and helped out with the country. Why didn't you tell me this before? Life is difficult enough. I want no part of this. Where are we? About five kilometers from Paris. 
I'll be right back. Where are you going? You can't leave me here with them. I have another man to get. I'll be back in a moment. Andre was arrested. I'm going to leave, but I will open the back door for you. One of you will have to, to get out and take the truck. Did you hear what I say? I said... How far away from the tobacconist? I know nothing about a tobacconist. On the Rue Chambige, that's where he was taking us. Are we anywhere near there, miss? You can be at the Rue Chambige in three quarters of an hour. We'll never find the place. You can't ask directions. None of us speaks any French. We'll be picked up in five minutes. What can I do about that? You can drive us there. No. Please, miss. There's a wounded man here. No. I was told only one. Andre was to pick up only one man. I know nothing about it. But we cannot manage the extra men. There are four others inside already. Isn't it so, Henri? Yes, Grandfather, four. You see, what could they expect? Their papers will not be ready for several days. And we have no room for seven men. Really, Monsieur, I must go. No, wait. Do you live alone, Mademoiselle? Well, yes, but what difference does it make? Then two of them will stay with you. With me? Don't be absurd. The Gestapo can walk in here at any moment. I have no time to contact anyone else. I will take no one. This is not my concern. I'm not one of you. But you are French, mademoiselle. Yes, but I'm not a fool. Would you want to see us all caught? Or shall we feed these men to the Germans? Take one, mademoiselle. At least one. 
Please, monsieur, understand. My grandson, Henri, not quite eleven. Yet every day he risks his life to help. Are you going to refuse Mademoiselle for only two days to help one man? the window, please. I'll be careful. I just want to make sure we weren't followed. Yeah, it looks okay. You're not to go near that window again, understand? Never again. Now, come this way. In here. This used to be the maid's room. You will stay here. You're not to leave this room until I tell you. Is that the only entrance to the apartment? Yes. Uh, what about the food? I will bring it here. Oh, you're not to use the lights at night. Is that clear? Uh, miss, I'm not very good at uh, saying these kind of things, but I want you to know how much I appreciate what you're doing. And I want you to know how much I hate what I'm doing. Mademoiselle Duzé? Court. Annette, my angel. Oh, but Court, you're early. I didn't expect you until tonight. Would you send me away? Oh. <laughs> I was able to escape headquarters for a while. Oh, I have missed you so, my darling. Oh. And I've missed you too, Court, so much, so very much. Listen, darling. I'm sorry, but I, I cannot see you tonight. But why? I must leave the city. A council of war. But tomorrow, tomorrow we shall be together all day. Mademoiselle, I bring you the elixir of love. Oh, champagne. Oh, that's wonderful. And, and to grace the most beautiful legs in all of Paris. Oh. Pure silk. Almost, almost I had some soap. Next time. It's so good to be here. What is it? Oh, everything. But here, there is no war. How many times you've said this to me? Here, there is no war. And I'm not the enemy. I've said that too. And now, you're different, hmm? No. But sometimes I think either you are a fool to believe this or perhaps you don't believe it at all. And I would not blame you, my darling. Silk stocking, champagne, the apartment. And it to say is the enemy. So Major Kurt Hofner must buy our affection with silk stockings and champagne. And love? Perhaps. Oh, I love you, good. Very much. But how can you ever be sure of that? I am sure of it. I was sure of it before. I'm sure of it now. Oh, how much I hate this world. How much I hate it. Left. Yes, he won't be back tonight. Here. Dinner will be ready by the time you are. It's 
wonderful dinner. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you liked it. They used to light all the monuments of the city at night, before the war. Must have been beautiful. Well, I've never seen it that way. I've known Paris only in the occupation. You mean in the dark, huh? <laughs> yes. Where are you from? A village you never heard of, Vibray. Oh, Vibray. Oh, I've heard of it. On a war map? On a war map. And where is your home, Sergeant? Oh, a village you never heard of? Cleveland. It is not on a war map, this village. Not that I know of. Not yet. Well, the Americans are very fortunate. Very good wine. The best in Paris. How long do you expect to leave, Sergeant? Day at a time. I don't know. I guess I, I don't think about it. I think about it every day. You miss it from home. Would you like to hear it? Yes, if you don't mind. You know, it's funny, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this record. It's, uh, it's my mother. You should see some of the stuff they get in the mail. There's a guy in my outfit got a pair of bedroom velvet slippers. And somebody else got a, got a manicure set. They just don't know what it's like up here. But we do, don't we, Sergeant? Hello, Chip. It's Mom. I... Your sister and I came downtown today and we passed this record place, you know, where you can make a record and send it to the boys overseas. I should have planned what I was going to say. I, I should have written it down. Your sister and me are all right. Don't you worry about us. I miss you, son. We both do. Sometimes I get to missing you so much, I... Oh, this thing's no good. I want to ask you so many questions. How are you? Are you well, dear? Where are you? They censor your letters now, so we never know. Oh, my time's almost up. I I'm going to let Louise use the other side. I'll have to say goodbye now. Take good care of yourself, dear. Write and hurry home. God bless your son. Shall I turn it over? Uh, please. Brat. I know you don't want to listen to a lot of drool from me, so I'll make it short. Anyway, if I got something I know you'd rather hear, this will really send you. It's the latest hit song here at home. Hugs and kisses, goon. Come home soon. Bye now. friend. He's a German, isn't he? Yes. He's very handsome, very gentle, and very important. Are you shocked, Sergeant? No. I'm just trying to figure you out. There's nothing to figure. You see, I'm alive and comfortable. And that's what counts, huh? What more is there? This is not my war. I want no part of it. You'll never make it in that. It's everybody's war. And I'm not everybody. Do you know what they call women like you? I've heard it. Often. And it doesn't bother you? 
Yes. But you see, it doesn't matter. Because I do love Kurt, really. He said he wasn't coming back tonight. That's what he told me. Take this to your room. Oh, please do. Hurry. Wait. was cancelled. The Allies took Rouen today. General Schneider was captured. We were halfway there. And we had to turn back. It is bad then. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. We will be defeated. The end will come very soon now. I've known it for some time. Berlin lies to us. The communicators talk about reinforcements. They say that the Luftwaffe plans a major counterattack. They talk about bombers by the thousands. It's all talk. There are no planes, no mighty regiments. Nothing but talk, 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 talk. My mother writes that they've taken my younger brother into the army. He is 14. Soon I expect we will be evacuating Paris. And I will have to leave you. No. Soon there will be peace. And we'll still be together. American. Really? Where did it come from? I brought it back from Vivray. It was taken from a captured soldier. I thought it might amuse you. Anyways, I got something I know you'd rather hear. This will really send you. It's the latest hit song here at home. Hugs and kisses, goon. Come home soon. Bye now. Strange. I don't even know these people. And yet, I envy them. It's your breakfast. I'm already late. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm meeting Kurt. He's off duty today. We won't be back until tonight, so please. Oh, I know. Don't answer the phone or the door. Go near the windows. Rules of the house. Enjoy your breakfast, Sergeant. Thank enough. Will you shut up for once? Oh, well, thank you.
Undoubtedly for me. I am to report back to headquarters. This is why I will not answer it. In war, one must take the calculated risk. You will tell them I'm not here. The war will have to continue without me for a few more hours. And while you are doing this, I will occupy myself shaving. For you. Hello? I've been out all day. Who's this? Yes. Yes. Well, yes, I will try, but this is a very bad time for... Hello? Hello? What did you tell them? Oh, it was not for you. It was a wrong number. You see, they calculate the risk. I will only be five minutes. You must give immediately. They have been trying to reach you all day. You must go to the canal at Rue Livoire, near Cordon. But it's too late, they've all left. There will be a barge at the canal. For garbage, you are to board it. One of the others will have your papers. They will leave in less than an hour. Now hurry, please, but be quiet. He's still here. Take the metro on the corner, direction Clichy. Get off at Rue Livoire. Walk left two streets, the canal near Cordon. Will you remember that? I'm not sure at the corner, the direction cliché. Get off at Rue Livoire, walk two streets left to the canal of Cordon. Good. Now, you'll need this. Go quickly. No! Stay. American? Good, please. Let him go. I had to help him. Why? Because he... Oh, no, nothing like that. Like what? How long has it been here? How many days? How many nights? But he was an escaped prisoner. Nothing more. Nothing. Do you believe that? Yes. Yes, I believe that. Thank you for that, anyway. Give me your top headquarters. Emergency. Kurt, please listen to me. Is this your ice, Inspector? Schnell! Kurt, let him go. What difference could it make? One man now. You yourself last night said it was almost over. Let him go, please. I'm sorry, Annette. But some things are not possible. Hello? Office Wassmann? Am I your Hoffner? No. A net? Stay here. The Gestapo will be here any minute. They'll arrest you. You've got to come with me. Get out of here. Save your life, Sergeant. But don't ask me to come with you and watch you do it. My angel. Go with him. The Gestapo will take you. If it can help you save your life, it does not matter who he is. There's nothing you can do for him now.
We better wait here till they move off the bridge. Lovely group, aren't they? Didn't think you'd make it. Are you going to? Yeah. I have no choice. A German officer was killed in my apartment. The barge is on the far side of the canal, about 100 yards down. We've been crossing the bridge one by one at 10 minute intervals. I was the last, then they showed up, planted themselves right in the middle of the bridge. Barge is due to leave in 10 minutes, whether we're on it or not. I can't use strict instructions. That would alert the area, and maybe they'd search the barge. Why don't we swim across? <laughs> can't swim anyway. Never learn. And then, can you swim? No. In these events, there's no... Open one! They're leaving. We'll have to chance it now. I'll go first. Well, uh, see you in the garbage. He didn't make it. I didn't think she was hurt that badly. She was hurt that badly. Any idea what happens now? 
Beats me. Annette? Are you all right? Good afternoon, gentlemen. And, uh, mademoiselle. I am Major Carruthers, and this is my good friend, Lieutenant Ronald. You're in our charge from this point. How far are we from the American lines, Major? Well, it's rather difficult to say at the moment. The front is quite fluid, but that very fluidity is in our favor. Don't worry, I expect no problems in returning you all to Allied forces. But as a safety precaution, we can't travel in such large groups. We must divide and take separate routes. Now, half of you will go with Lieutenant Ronald, and half with me. Started this together, old buddy. I guess we might as well finish it together. The best get started. Good luck. This way, at least three of you. Shall we go, mademoiselle? Well, we finally made it, didn't we? Annette. Shall we? Yeah. Hey, Sarge, I just heard you were back. How are you? Oh, just great. Hey, come on. What did they do? What, what did they do with you? Come All on. All right, I'll tell you. You see, they put me up in this fancy place in Paris. Really? Yeah. <laughs> come on, Sarge. Let's have it. Well, I'm telling you. Oh. Then they detailed this French girl to make sure that I was comfortable. What was she like? What was she like? Well, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll ever know. Oh, come on now, Sergeant. All right, you guys, beat it. I'll answer all your questions later. Right now, I have to, I have to write this letter. But okay, Sarge, that's you. an order, Doc. Come on. Dear Mom and Louise, sorry if I didn't answer before this to thank you for the record you sent, but it was impossible. <laughs> 